First off, I'd like to congratulate all the champions here as all of you worked just as hard as, as I did to, to earn the titles and the respect that you, uh, that you get with that. And special congratulations to uh, Taylor Holdaway. And Thomas, you didn't have to make us all cry up here. Uh, great speech. Uh, congratulations on a, on a great year. I want you to sit back, go back in time with me. You're a young kid growing up in an average family. You go to the local elementary school where so many of your friends and other kids go. Your buddy Jeff, he wants to be a baseball player like legend Babe Ruth. Matthew, he dreams of being Michael Jordan. Rusty, he wants to be John Elway. But you, you want to be Dale Earnhardt. Everyone sitting in this room has someone they aspired to be as a kid. Whether it's your mom, your dad, policeman, a firefighter, or some other legend sports figure. It gives us dreams and inspiration to be all we can be and gives us goals in life to shoot for. Where would we be in life without these people? Will we just do whatever it takes to survive, get by? No, that isn't acceptable. At least it wasn't for this kid from some more North Carolina. Of course, I enjoyed all sports growing up and was competitive in whatever we were playing that day. But for me, I was counting down the weekdays until the weekend when me and my parents would go to some local short track and watch the best of the best battle each and every week. I knew every racer on the local level, and I'd defend them no matter what. Kind of like I defended my childhood hero, Dale Earnhardt, on Sundays when he'd get out of that car with that trademark smile of his and say, I just wanted to rattle his cage a little. Poor Terry Labonte at Bristol. <laughs> or I was just telling Mayfield he was number one at Pocono after a last lap bump and run. Let's fast forward to tonight. I'm standing on this stage in front of thousands of people with this air and live across the, the world. Five straight years in the top three in the nation and three of those years as national champion. We all need dreams. We all need heroes. As a kid, I dreamed of this. I lived and I breathed it. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't always easy. I've had plenty of struggles along the way getting to this point. But you know what they told me? Anything worth having it's worth fighting for. So what I'm telling you is I hope that there's some little boy, a little girl out here watching this with a dream just like me. You can achieve anything in life if you put your mind to it. You never have enough time to say everything you want to say on this stage. But I wouldn't be here today without so many people being behind me. I'd like to start off by thanking my car owners, Travis and Eddie Kiker. I raced for years against them while they had some other drivers piloting their cars and boy, did we had some battles. When they came to me and asked me if I would be interested in taking care of their equipment and running it out of my shop, I was floored. In the past two years, have been amazing together and I want to thank you both for trusting and to believe in that I'm one of the best drivers in the business. Next, I'd like to thank my crew, Chris, Dave, Jimmy, Marshall, Redbird, Ray, Steve, Courtney, Winston, Richard, Jeffrey, Matt, and Dad. You guys never give up. You do whatever it takes to make Lee Pulliam Performance succeed with not only my car, but all of our customers who have achieved much success out of our shop. 
Whether it be tuning wrenches on my car or working on our team cars, I couldn't do it without each and every one of you. Next, I'd like to thank my sponsors. I wouldn't be here today without Kiker Tree Service, Mincy's Graphics, Olive Hill Weldon, Pulliam Logan, Five Star Race Car Bodies, JRI Shocks, Ernest Performance, iBox Brains, Males Ignitions, um, Kowalski Racing Engines, Hedgecock Race Cars, and uh, Performance Center. And I would like to thank all of the fans, NASCAR, all of the contingency sponsors for doing what they do to, to, to make this possible. Wheeling, Wheeling Engineering, the tracks we raced at, including South Boston, Motor Mile, Langley, Kingsport, Caraway, Southern National, and Anderson. And of course, I cannot forget God and my family, especially my wife who supports me through it all. Two weeks ago, she scared me to death. She had just left the house. She was about three quarters of a mile down the road, headed to work, and she ran off the side of the road and had a tree head on, and I heard it. Duke life flighted her to the emergency room where she had a completely broken femur and other in injuries. I was holding her hand as the doctors came in with a report from the many tests they had performed. Our life was about to change forever. Leanne would have a lengthy, lengthy recovery, but nothing life-threatening. But not all was bad that day. The doctors told us the big news. We were going to have a child. <laughs> As tears rolled down our face, we knew that God had control of the situation all along. Seeing that little baby in that ultrasound was the proudest moment of my life. And as I wrote this speech, I realized from my childhood, daddy's dream too. Thank y'all and have a great night. <laughs>